Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get support for Open Web UI, whether it's new issues or features that you might want to recommend. Now, the first place that I always encourage you to take a look at is the documentation page. So that's docs.openwebui.com. If you go here, click on tutorials, pipelines, like they have so many tutorials that they have been constantly updating. So you can go over to this page, you can see all kinds of different tutorials that um, they've been creating. There's also community driven tutorials that are now also available on their website. So you can see tutorials given by other people as well. The next place that I also encourage you to check is their GitHub repository. Now here you can see that it links to their support page to so support at openwebui.com. There's also an X link here. So at openwebui, it doesn't seem like they've been updating this as much. Uh, however, if you go to the repository for Open Web UI and select, for example, issues, you can see all of the different issues that people have been having. So here I can see all the issues that people have been facing. So let's just say that web search broken on 0 0.5.15. If I click on this, I can see here that this person has been having some issues. They submitted this bug report, right? The what is the installation method? What's the environment? What's the expected behavior is that web search works and actual behavior is that I'm getting this error. And then based on that, other people will also be able to comment. They might be able to give you some tips on how you can make it work. Uh, if, for example, you want to create your own issue, you can simply click on new issue. And then if it's a feature request, click this. If it's a bug report, click this. And then when you're creating the bug report, the only couple of the things that you'll have to fill out are these, right? So installation methods. So for example, if you use Docker, pip, or just did a git clone for the repository. What's the environment, right? So what's the open web UI version that you're running? What's the Olama version, your operating system? All of those things. And then expected behavior, right? So if uh, your search doesn't work, um, then your expected behavior is search is working. And then actual behavior is whatever problems that you've been having. So once you create an issue here on GitHub, you will be able to get some support. Now, another page that I also recommend uh, or encourage you to take a look at is the Discord server. So Open Web UI has a Discord server and it's quite active actually. Like here, there's a lot of people that keep constantly posting on this Discord page. So uh, there is a section just for general comments and everything. There's also a Discord channel for development. So here we can see that uh, people who are working on actually developing Open Web UI, like what kind of issues that they've been facing. There's a another section for feature requests. So for example, if you wanted to create a new feature request or see what kind of feature requests that other people have been making, um, you can see all of those in this page as well. Now, one more place that I also encourage you to take a look at is the Reddit. So reddit.com forward slash r forward slash open web UI. So here you can see all of these different posts that people have been making. So for example, here, someone made a comment that 0 0.5.14, it's greatly improved web search. Um, so you can see uh, what other people are also saying about web search and you get a little bit more insight into this as well. Now, if all else fails, something else that you can do is just clone the repository locally on your computer. And once you do that, you can use the extension client that's available for free. Um, and here I provided the open router as well as the model as the Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So you will pay for whatever you use based on the API usage. However, I can ask a question like, hey, can you tell me what the default RAG template is? What Klein is going to do is that it's going to start searching through all of these files in the repository. And based on that, it's going to try to answer your question. And there we go. So it looked at config.py. And it said, okay, I found the default RAG uh, template. It's available in config.py. And then here it's presenting what the default template is. So over here, for example, I can ask specific questions, something like, hey, can you tell me like how I can enable web search or how I can enable um, enhanced RAG processing or whatever it is that you want to ask. You can even ask Klein to help find the answer for you based on the current state of the repository. Now I have another video on Klein, how you can set Klein up and how you can also enable it with Docker. So if it's your first time using it, then you might have a little bit of setup. So I'll share a link to that in the description, but that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helps you out. I gave you a bunch of different resources that you can take a look at. Either look at the documentations page or ask the question on Discord. If it's an issue or a feature request, create it on the GitHub page. Uh, you can even use the Reddit. And if everything else fails, then just clone the GitHub repository and just directly ask questions here and you'll be able to get an answer. That's it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.